In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and use Google Authenticator. And we'll be explaining what Google Authenticator is and how it works, how to set it up, and an example of how to add Google Authenticator to Gmail. We also have other videos available for setting up Google Authenticator with the likes of Facebook and Coinbase. We'll then show you how to remove Google Authenticator, add it to a new phone, and we'll discuss some Google Authenticator alternatives if you prefer to use another app or method. There'll be a timeline in the video description for those looking to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. First up though, a little bit about what Google Authenticator is. Google Authenticator is a free security app that can protect your accounts against password theft. It's easy to set up and use and can be used with many different types of apps and services that you already use. It works by generating unique codes on your smartphone, which you must enter in addition to your password when you log into your accounts. This is known as something called two-factor authentication or 2FA and it adds an extra level of security to your accounts so that even if a hacker manages to crack your password, they won't be able to log in without the code on your device. You can use Google Authenticator with many different types of accounts, including your Gmail account, social media accounts like Facebook, and even cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase and Kraken. Before we dive into setting up Google Authenticator, it is important to back it up. Just in case you lose or damage your phone, Without any form of backup, you could be locked out of your accounts. Google Authenticator does automatically back up your codes to your associated Google account, meaning that even if you do lose your phone, you can restore your codes with a new device from the cloud. However, for those of you that are more security conscious, you'll be aware that there is a bit of a security risk in doing so. Suddenly, the security that you get from 2FA authentication is no longer confined to only you or your device. That's because the codes are copied to the cloud. And because they aren't end-to-end -end encrypted, whilst it's unlikely, it is technically possible for someone at Google or anyone who can compel Google to give them access to see your backup codes. If you require a higher level of security, you can consider keeping a separate, secure copy of your backup codes and turning off the feature to backup to the cloud. So let's jump in and take a look now. In terms of downloading Google Authenticator, this can be downloaded on a mobile app via the App Store or Google Play. I'm using an iPhone, so I've already downloaded mine from the App Store. When we open Google Authenticator, you'll see here that there's no login or sign-in details to remember. Now this in itself could be a bit of an issue, as if someone takes your phone, they're going to be able to access your codes. So I'd recommend enabling what they call a privacy screen which you can reach by heading to the burger icon in the top left hand side of your screen, then heading to settings and privacy screen. And here you can press on the radio icon to enable it. And you can set this to happen immediately or after certain periods of time. And this just means that next time the app is opened, it's gonna require your face ID. You'll see that my account is currently empty and there aren't any codes in here as yet as it's new. And I'm gonna show you how to export and import accounts if you've already got some set up on another device a little bit later. Any codes that I enter into here are automatically backed up to my Google account. And this is shown with the green cloud icon with a tick beside it. When I press on my Google account profile icon, I can switch my account, or I can use the Authenticator app without a Google account. And in this way, your codes will be removed from your Google account and just be available on this device. I then have an option to add a code or change my account so that if you're not already signed in, you can simply sign in from here. So let's start by adding 2FA to a Gmail account using Google Authenticator. And just be aware here that the sites and apps that we show you are constantly evolving and updating. So there may be some minor changes at the time that you're watching this video, but the functionality will all be the same. And the method of adding Google Authenticator to Gmail will be similar to any other sites that you want to add Google Authenticator to. So if we head across to our Gmail account now and log in with our email and password, from our profile icon in the top right, choose Manage your Google account, then Security from the left of the screen. Under How you sign into Google, 
there's many different ways that you can set this up with passwords, passkeys, phones, and you can also add Authenticator. So when we click on that button, you can then set up an Authenticator. As it states, instead of waiting for your text, you can use Google Authenticator even when the phone's offline. Let's choose Set Up Authenticator, where a QR code will then be shown that you can scan with your camera. If for any reason you can't scan it, you'll be provided with a setup key that you can add instead. So let's head to Google Authenticator now, tap on the plus icon in the bottom right, and here is where you can now enter in the code or scan the QR, which I'm going to do now. Once the code has been added, you'll then choose Next from your Google account, where you'll then need to verify the number from your app by entering the code that's displayed. Authenticator will then be added to your account. And then next time you log into your account, and I'm going to use a new browser now, so that the last one isn't trusted or recognized. You'll be prompted for your verification code from your Google Authenticator app. And if you ever need to remove it, simply head across to Manage Your Google Account, then Security. And under Authenticator, you can then click the trash bin icon here to remove it. You'll often find that when you remove your codes from your accounts, they don't remove from your Google Authenticator app. To remove them from the app, you press down on the account that you'd like to remove. Then tap the pencil icon on the right. This is where you can rename the accounts and you can also move the accounts to another Gmail account if you wish. But in the top right is a bin or a trash icon that allows you to remove it from the list. Please just ensure that you definitely don't need this again as you could potentially get locked out of your accounts otherwise. Now it's really important to keep a backup of these codes as I said at the very start, just in case your phone is lost or broken and you need to use them on a new device. Now as we've mentioned several times, your codes will be backed up to your Google account, so if you get a new mobile you can simply add the Google account to your new Google Authenticator app. Alternatively, if you've listed down all the backup codes and stored them somewhere safely offline, you can enter them back in manually using the plus icon and entering in the different codes. And you can also create a QR code to export your codes. This is done by clicking on the burger icon and choosing transfer accounts, then export accounts. And if you have more than one account set up in Google Authenticator, it will give you the option to select which account or accounts that you'd like to create a QR code for. As I only have one at the moment, I'm just gonna be presented with the QR code. So you then just download the Authenticator app on your new device, go to the burger icon, then transfer accounts, and then import accounts, and scan the QR code using your camera. And they'll then prompt you to remove the exported accounts from your current device, but do make sure they've properly imported before you do so. If you prefer to use another app or method for your two-factor authentication needs, there are several popular alternatives to Google Authenticator that you may want to consider, and each has its own unique features and benefits. Authy is a widely recommended alternative to Google Authenticator, and it offers similar functionality, but with some additional features. Microsoft Authenticator is another robust option that supports a wide range of accounts. LastPass Authenticator integrates well with the LastPass password manager, providing an extra layer of security. And for those looking for hardware-based security, YubiKey is an excellent option.